Ahoy mateys, Sierra here. It is day 203, dancing on a cruise ship, and I am doing another get ready with me in 10 minutes. Let's go. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I want to talk to whoever is here about today. And essentially, I think the main message for these next minutes are going to be me talking about being like a vessel, like as an artist being a vessel versus or in congruence to being a visionary is there a difference are they the same thing can you be both eddie k i already put on my base and my primer hopefully that gives me a head start with some anyways but before i get to that visionary versus vessel um I saw Love is God, Love has won, Mother God on HBO Max. It's a series that's on there. The cult documentaries must be stopped. Like, is, is joining a cult an epidemic that I missed out on? Like, that I haven't seen on the front page news? Like, are cults taking away society and I just didn't get the memo because why so many documentaries now i must admit they are fascinating like what a breakdown in the human psyche that you can analyze with this but it's like really like so first of all you're in this group and then you decide to go into a documentary and tell the world about what y'all doing okay live your life i don't understand um but i am enthralled and sick <laughs> about it so let me know are cults an epidemic next that i wanted to talk about was i was watching some youtuber and they were talking about like how do you know what to make content about blah, 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 blah. and they were like find something that you are like 10 percent ahead of other people at and guide them along their path well that gave me a confidence boost you know about talking about theater being a dancer in this industry because i used to think like oh i'm not there yet like i haven't reached whatever goal that there is out there oh and that leads me to a quote that i will get to next time about success and admiring something that you may want without needing to possess it oh it was such a good quote i don't remember it though but anyways so find something that you're like 10 percent ahead of other people at and guide them along their path so maybe y'all can get 10 percent further than you're already at with my advice and i'm just like okay i'm gonna talk about it because who cares who honestly cares so that's what i'm gonna do today three minutes for eyeshadow and i'm not even done today i went to the beach it was so nice it was such a nice day the sun was shining a couple of people in my cast were out there i swam i saw the fish i saw the shells i laid out on a floaty and just became one with the water water is so healing like get in the tub if you're not by a lake an ocean or whatever like surround your body in some water and the sun was out i took pictures i ate a veggie burger it was good vibes how do people do this and then i'm like talking to a camera with nobody else in the room it's reality only two weeks left literally 15 days we leave not monday's tomorrow not the monday after that but the monday after that ready for it i'm going to disneyland not Disneyland, come on. The real Mickey, Mickey heads will know the difference. Disney World, I've got to be specific. I'm going there tomorrow. Just to get out these last little Disney vibes. And then tonight, the show is Aladdin. And we do that twice. Since I'm no longer on the boat, by the time I post this, let me tell y'all a story because I'm sure the majority of y'all aren't even still watching. And the thrusters are gonna come on as well. So 
in a lot of shows here, there is pyro. And of course we do training, we sign off on everything. And so they say like, oh, stand here, you're clear of the pyro, you're clear of the pyro. So in this number, the genie has a pyro stick at the end and we're all like dancing genies. And um, they said that I was clear of the pyro cause for our ending pose, I have to run down and pose like right by the genie. The genie has a pyro stick that shoots fire that shoots pyro out of the stick and it's on my side like the side i'm running towards so literally it, i see the pyro right in front of my face and then i run through it after it's complete let's see oh there's some contingencies tonight so contingencies in a show let's talk about it <laughs> what are show contingencies so when you are doing a show, you have the show that you rehearsed with everyone you rehearsed it with, with all of the show elements that are supposed to be there, that the director directed for it, when everyone's in the show, when all the technical elements work and everything is going just Gucci. Now, if a technical element for some reason is broken or it doesn't work or someone is not in the show to press the button or move the prop, then you do show contingencies where they either cut it or somebody else moves it or two people move it. It's just different than what is normally a part of the do 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 do. So we have some of those tonight. Oh, I also have to approve my timesheet. So on this vessel, on all the vessels for this cruise line, weekly, if you're a performer, you have to approve your timesheet, which is just like a timesheet on like a little screen that's posted everywhere where all the other crew members clock in and out of the show, not the show, clock in and out of their shifts. But since we don't really have shifts because we're in a show, we have to approve our timesheets for the whole week. So it usually ends up being like no more than 40 hours at all. I usually come in at like between 30 and 38 hours a week worked. And that includes greeting, shows, meetings, all of that stuff. And then we just have to put agree every Sunday. I was supposed to have a safety class today, but I didn't go because I was greeting. But also every couple of months you have to go do a safety class to just make sure we know the correct numbers for emergencies, where to go for emergencies, how to help people. They're really on it. I think I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. Hey, hey, hey. Normally I've been watching YouTube videos when I do my makeup, but I have now decided for the last bit of days I'm putting on makeup. Talk to yourself, girl. You have a lot to say. You have a lot on your mind. Oh, okay. Lastly, help people want to change the world. Help people want to make an impact and stop the violence. Okay. Like that's the new goal. That should be what's popping off now. Like joy and fun and happiness. That's cool. But also like ending world hunger and ending genocide. That's better. All right. I just got lip gloss and spray. Bye.